Hi there, this is Alex from PNW Bible Journaling live on the Creative Retreat YouTube channel. And I'm here with Sweet to the Soul, a devotional written by Julie um, Cassell. She's an English teacher and I love following Julie on social media. I admire her heart for the Lord. I love these reflection questions she wrote. Don't miss them. They're on the back of the devotional card this month, um, right alongside some fun honeycomb print. I decided I was going to journal in Proverbs 24, 13. Um, I actually initially did this entry in my normal ESV single column Bible, and I loved the entry so much, I decided I wanted to transfer it to my illustrating Bible. And I found that the entry is just as lovely in this Bible. It did change slightly, so at the end of the video, you'll see me share both entries um, with images, so you can see how a larger margin space affects how you journal. Um, so the first thing I did was just dab my page with this little ink pad I picked up. I think I found it in the dollar section at Michael's. It's just little. I knew I wanted a honeycomb effect, and so I literally just pulled out an old hexy sticker I had, and I used, and this isn't the brand Alex Creamy Crayon, but it's the same as a Faber Castell Gelato. I just roughly sketched the hexy pattern of a honeycomb onto my page using a bright yellow um, Creamy Crayon. And so this basically, if you use a baby wipe on it, turns to almost like a, a paint on the page. And this lets me be really rough. I like that my my, my lines were sort of sketchy. Um, and then I go back and I add in using a gold um, creamy crayon some kind of additional lines to create depth. And really this just gave that honeycomb effect I wanted. I highlighted the scripture at the bottom of the page that I was um, referencing which says, eat honey my son for it is good and the honeycomb is sweet to your palate. Uh, realize that wisdom is the same for you and if you find it you will have a future and your hope will never fade and I love that Julie's devotional really emphasized at the end that his law his wisdom his judgments are sweet to the soul even sweeter than honeycomb that's the last paragraph of the devotional and so I meditated on this idea that um, the words that I speak over my soul are kind of contagious. They become the words that I share with other people. And if I'm not, she talks about this kind of mid-devotional, um, but the it's in bold. But the impact of our words isn't just on others, it's on ourselves. And if we don't take care of ourselves and speak God's words of wisdom over our life, how can we do that over other people? So that's what I was meditating on as I created I knew I wanted to use a honeycomb wand. I don't know what you would call this besides that. The, the little instrument you use to dip into a honey pot and drip out honey. Um, and so I found an image I liked online. I knew I could probably use my phone kind of like a light box and just trace it in. Um, I wanted it to look wet like that image did. So I kind of played with what could I use. I started with a very brown, um, kind of gold bronze, I think it's a metallic out of a metallic kit, um, Faber-Castell Gelato. And then I used the same creamy crayon that I'd used on the honeycomb yellow and a little bit of brown to create the drip. Smudged it with a baby wipe. I'm kind of trying, to, with the black pen gives it sort of a three-dimensional effect. And then I'm going to use just a brown kids marker because I wanted, this is truly just one I pulled out of my kids craft stuff, to add a little bit of brown outline that made this more bold. It didn't draw well over the creamy crayon, but eventually I got it to kind of create some lines here. I had to wipe it and dry it and that kind of thing. But I was able to create kind of a three dimensional effect on this honeycomb um, wand, I guess is what you would call it. And then I add, I literally just use dollar store glitter glue. Um, this is what I'm squeezing out here onto it to create the wet effect. And it really does the trick. Just enough wet glue that dries with a tiny bit of glitter and it creates that kind of wet look. Um, and then I'm gonna let it dry. I use the honeycomb stickers provided in the kit that to spell out the word wise because this particular passage talks about scripture and the words of God 
um, in light of his wisdom. And his wisdom is what gives us a future and a hope. So I wanted to highlight that word wise. And Julie uses that exact word in that closing paragraph about God's words being wise. So wise words was one of my main bold headers. And then at the bottom, I'm going to stamp. And I've been making it a goal to really stamp more. I am not um, drawn to stamps. And so trying to use, because I also have very like school teacher, I was a school teacher by profession, handwriting. Um, I like using these fonts that are created. Um, and I love this particular handwritten look. And so I said, I'm gonna use these and just use black ink to type out or to write out sweet to my soul. That the wise words of God's scripture are sweet to my soul. That's what I wanted my header to be. Um, and so thankfully, the washi that uh, Danielle included in this kit also provides that same title. So I was able to kind of repeat that sentiment on the page. Um, and it really became the words were and the honeycomb spoke enough that I didn't really need much else. So then I just journaled. And the two entries that I did between my ESV single column and this illustrating Bible um, really kind of work off each other. So I'll read them both two in a minute. I took that sticker back out to create a honeycomb shaped tab for the top of my page. And I wanted the black outline so that the white page. I just used some cardstock I had. I think it's the backing to the stamps or something. Um, and I wanted to have that little bit of black outline because it kind of gives the effect of it being a die cut that was pre-cut, um, that the edges are blackened. And so then and I played with the whole thing. And in the illustrating Bible, I probably could have left the honeycomb hole. Um, but after placing it a couple different places, I decided I wanted like two thirds of it. I will save the piece I cut for another entry because I love the idea of the tab being hexy shaped like the honeycomb. Um, and then I ended up titling this entry Soul Honey because I thought about God's word and his wise words being honey for my soul. And instead of like lavender honey or whatever kind of honey, this is soul honey that this scripture um, is honey for my soul. So that's where the title came from. I kept it really simple, just used a stamp and some of the hexy letters to spell out soul. And then I used a little bit of Tombow glue to glue it down. And then I went over the bottom with the washi that is included in the kit. And I used the sentiment that's on the washi that says these words are like honey um, for that top section. Um, and then I actually ripped off the bit of honeycomb hexy section here and put it below it because I wanted the sentiment to fit kind of perfectly there across the top. And then I put the honeycomb just below it. And I like how that kind of gave more honeycomb and a little bit of the gold um, on the page. And then the rest of the washi says sweet to the soul. And so I just added that down at the bottom, sometimes repeating the sentiment that you want to be the primary focus over or more than once um, does the trick. So I did that at the bottom. It says sweet to my soul and sweet to the soul. And then I outlined the words that the scripture that it was based on. I date stamped and I journaled. And that kept this entry really quick, really simple. I didn't have to own a bunch of honeycomb or bumblebee themed stuff beyond what the kit came with. Um, and I still had that honeycomb, um, that whole bold honeycomb feel on the page. So this entry in the Illustrating Bible says, Lord, I know that your words are wise, true, kind, and good, and they are sweet to my soul. And I find your wisdom, or as I find your wisdom, my hope does not fade, and I have a future. Help me to eat your honey, to spread your wise words to my soul, and extend them to others. Amen. And that was based on the sentiment that the impact of our words isn't just on others, it's on ourselves. And really, I believe it's vice versa. If we can speak God's words over our soul, we can speak it over others, and it can be a reflection of God in us. And so that was the, first, the second entry I did. Um, and really my goal there was to use the words of scripture as my prayer. And so using the exact verbiage from scripture was important. The first entry was a little bit briefer and it said, Lord, help me to speak your wise words to my soul. May I be as 
kind, loving, gentle, and truthful to myself as I am to others. Because I think sometimes it's easier to be those things to others than it is to ourselves. And I do believe this kind of street of speaking God's words of wisdom and love over ourselves goes both ways. I hope you find yourself inspired, excited to try out this kit and to really dive into the scriptures where we look at God's word as sweet to the soul. This is Alex of PNW Bible Journaling here on the Creative Retreat YouTube channel with a video all about God's word being soul honey. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I will include links to supplies down below. You can also find me and the Creative Retreat Insider Group links below so that you can connect and download our free digital content and stay tuned for other videos this month. Thanks so much for tuning in.